the cool start to our day, but it's nothing we can't handle. We do have some wind, though, to go along with it. A live look at radar shows dry conditions for the state of Kentucky. We have to look just a little bit further to the north. A couple of states north, Indiana, Ohio, picking up some rain. That's exactly where the cold and the warm front is. The low pressure obviously sitting up into Canada. But those fronts are dipping all the way down into the Ohio Valley. You can see where the warm air is coming from. It is coming from the west. Oklahoma City is at 75 degrees right now. Even Nashville is sitting at 71, but you drop about 10 degrees here in Lexington. We're still in the low 60s and the wind is definitely not helping matters at all. So you'll have to keep one of those jackets around. I mentioned this morning the fleece for the morning and the windbreaker for the afternoon. You may need both this afternoon. Warm front is moving over us. That is helping our temperatures to climb a little bit, not to mention the fact that we've got plenty of sunshine, which will also add to the heat outside as we move into the afternoon. If we see any clouds, it's mostly going to be sitting over northern Kentucky, Indiana and Ohio. Exactly kind of where in between those two fronts. That's where that rain is. So the better chance to pick up some rain will be just north of us. If we see anything, it may kind of move over the Ohio River a little bit later on this evening as that front moves through on the wake in the wake of the front rather we will clear back out starting off tomorrow with a beautiful morning just like this morning. Hopefully not quite as windy and not quite as chilly. But then as we move into the afternoon, another little round of energy sends the possibility of a couple more clouds and maybe a few isolated showers. It's not going to be a big deal for us tomorrow and then we'll dry back out for Friday morning. High pressure remains in control of our forecast for Friday. But that's when things take another chilly turn. So we're warm today, especially down into the south. We'll get in on some of that action, that warm air advection I was talking about from the warm front. But then the cold front quickly moves through. That sends our temperatures back down into the 40s tonight. The 60s tomorrow will be kind of caught in between the couple of air masses, the cold one and the warm one to the south. And then eventually, yeah, there comes that chilly air once again, dropping our temperatures into Friday. We'll real struggle to make it even to 60 degrees coming up on Friday. Boy, this time last year, definitely a, a sharp, drastic change. We were in the upper 70s, both on this day, September the 30th and October the 1st, when high temperatures for today will be 71 degrees and tomorrow 67 degrees. What a difference just a year makes. So you've had that heat wave going on for a stretch of seven days, one week last year. We should be around 74 degrees today. We'll struggle to make it to 70, 67 tomorrow, 59 on Friday. And we have another day coming up next week where we'll only make it into the upper 50s as well. The good news is pollen counts are a little bit lower today. The predominant pollens will be ragweed and grass. Highs around 70 today. Plenty of sunshine continues. Mind the winds though. Gusts could still pick up to 35, maybe 40 miles per hour in isolated spots and take a gander of the first full moon of October coming up tomorrow. You'll be able to see that tonight. That's the harvest moon. We have a second one on October the 31st, which is the hunter's moon through the eight day forecast. We'll stay dry past Thursday. Friday and Saturday look nice. A few more showers for Sunday and Monday. We keep it cool only in the 50s and the 60s through next week as well.